Hey y'all, welcome back to the garage. So um, this video is gonna be about the battery box and all of the different components that I'm gonna need to get painted. Uh, so let's go outside and take a look at what I'm painting. All right, so we have the battery box, uh, the battery mounting plate bracket thing that I fabricated it up. Uh, this is the uh, ignition holder and then the top of the battery box. Uh, I gotta grind this down a little bit before I get to it. Uh, it's got some welding spatter on it as well as I got some other stuff. Uh, I'm using this Rust-Oleum automotive primer um, for the base coat and then I will be using uh, Rust-Oleum flat uh, protective enamel uh, black so um, yeah basically I'm just going to get all of this spray painted up. Um, I already started as you can see. I have to get the other side so let's uh, get to spray painting. So just like that, uh, getting those primed. Uh, we'll be back when we go to do the black uh, for just these pieces here, and then we'll take a look and see how it goes. Um, to see if I like it or not before I start adding it to uh, more of the pieces. So, see y'all in a minute. All right, so we're back. Um, I got the part of the tail light that I ground down uh, over here. To make it fit i got that primed taped off everything else all the electronics that are connected are in here i'm going to take it apart to go get the frame painted um, so that's drying uh, same primer i use uh, let me get it this primer here that i use the same rust -Oleum automotive primer and then originally i was using this flat black for this but i went back i didn't really like it, it was very flaky um, so i went back to using this bear premium that i used in the street glide sissy bar um, Check that video out. I had to modify it from eBay Motors, so because uh, I had to modify it, I'm using. Uh, I had to paint over it a little bit, so uh, that's what I use here. So you can see it's drying. Uh, I'll give you a comparison once this is dry. Dry. Uh, actually, I think it close. So here's the black from the bear, and here's the flat black. It's says crusty. It's kind of gross. Um, so this black here is much better. Uh, I have the kickstand here, cleaned it off a little bit, kind of cleaned up some of the welds and spatter. So I'm about to prime that here in a second. I've got to do the second coat. Give this a second to dry, then I'll flip it over and uh, get the uh, back side. But yeah, so we're just basically getting everything painted here. This is the last components that I have to paint for the bike. Um, and then once we do that, it'll be pretty much closed out uh, as far as painting goes. So uh, I'll come back when it's time to uh, time to show you the finished product and all of these. All right, so we're done with painting. Um, I'm gonna show you all the parts and everything like that. I brought them inside just because we're done. Let them kind of like finish their uh, like just setting process. Really, uh, I noticed that like leaving them on that wood table was not the way to do it. So yeah. Anyway, so here is the uh, battery box right here in black. This is also the battery from T box from TC Bros. Uh, you'll remember uh, from the other videos. Uh, but here it is right here. Nice black, matte black, which is what I want. 
Um, the reason why is because um, I want it to kind of disappear in the bike. Um, I don't know how well this paint job is going to hold. It's already starting to kind of flake a little bit, but you know, it'll it'll do. I guess. I'm not really super concerned with it because this is going to get dirty and grimy and just absolutely destroyed where it's located on the bike. Um, so this is just to protect it. Main thing though is that the primer on it is a uh, rust oleum primer so it won't rust anymore. That's like the biggest thing uh, for me at least. These parts don't rust. Um, moving on with that I have the, uh, the topper for it. Same thing, black. Um, you know, it'll fit uh, on there so just like this. You know what I mean? Put it on top of the battery, no big deal. Uh, bracket for it, also in black, right here. And then the tab that's going to go on here for the uh, um, uh, the starters, the ignition switch, and, and the relay, and everything like that. So. Uh, those two are right here, just like that. So everything in the battery box is done. Uh, in addition, the kickstand, I just had to spray a little bit more just because some sort of kind of peeling a little bit, but uh, the kickstand I just did in black. Um, once again, primed it with rust oil so it wouldn't rust. Um, and yeah, so it's good here, be underneath the bike. I'm aware this is gonna like wear over time, I'm not super concerned with it. It is a makeshift kickstand, I just wanted it to kind of disappear. Uh, like the rest of the parts when it's kicked up on the motorcycle um, that way the parts of the bike I want highlighted are highlighted and then uh, the last part I have is the license plate bracket that I um, sorry the camera battery or camera SD card is full uh, so like I was saying uh, all the parts that I ground down to make this license plate bracket fit uh, went ahead and primed it repainted it um, and then all of the electrical components that are still connected, taped away securely, as well as the remaining part of the license plate bracket. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it for the, uh, the battery box and all of its components. Put all that back over here. Um, battery box and all of its components. The only thing I have left to kind of paint on my own is the um, uh, bracket for the uh, rear master cylinder. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna paint that black though because it's on a silver control, so I'll probably prime it and then paint it some other color, but that'll just be like later down the road, not a huge deal right now. Um, but yeah, with that being said, uh, just a quick video, so uh, about what I'm kind of painting myself versus what I'm sending off to get painted. Uh, and just a reminder, the gas tank and the frame and oil tank are already off with the painter, so hopefully they'll be coming back here soon, but uh, if you like what you've seen here and you want to see more, please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one.